And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we look at a recent Express poll that shows 94% want to walk away from negotiations and leave on a WTO basis from Europe. I know polls are trash, but this will pro prove, hopefully, to Boris and the not-so-extreme hard-left Tories that we have not given up, not surrendered, and are 100% still anti-European Union. Our will has not diminished. The article is titled, Walk Away Now, 94% want Boris Johnson to abandon point Pointless Brexit talks. A staggering 94% of Express readers want Boris Johnson to walk away from trade talks with the EU immediately. Now we all knew this already, didn't we? Now they do too, hopefully. But let's read the rest of the article. After meeting French President Emmanuel Macron this week, the traitor, if you don't know what that was, he was all nicey nicey until he left the country and then he tried calling us names. Yep, that's what that this is the weasel that he is. Couldn't do it to our face, could you, Macron? You wimp. Mr. Johnson insisted it did not make te sense to extend talks into the autumn. The Prime Minister has stated his belief a deal could be reached by the end of the month on both sides increase if both sides increase the pace of negotiation. While both sides have agreed to speed up talks in pursuit of the deal, EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has a one once again stated Brussels will not back down on its demand over fair competition. Well, you won't be getting anything then, which is probably why this poll has gone to 94%, you moron. In light of the <laughs> EU's demand for the UK to be tied to certain regulations, the Express asked readers, should Boris Johnson walk away from trade talks with the EU now? In response, an astonishing 6,697 out of 7,073 votes, 94% insisted Mr Johnson should walk away from talks. In contrast, just 351 said he should shouldn't, while 25 were not sure. Commenting on the poll, one reader said, no more waiting. Cut off date was the end of June, whereby EU was to give some sign of whether a deal can be done or not. This hasn't happened, so why are we waiting? We know there is not going to be anything of value coming from the EU. Call it a day and let's get cracking on the way forward with WTO, WTO rules. And we're all in firm agreement with that one, aren't we everyone? <laughs> Another said they won't deal until last minute, so save time and walk walk away, then see what they offer at the last minute. Good, good idea in my opinion. They will leave it. I actually think we'd probably be better to just leave on WTO and watch them come crawling to us very, very quickly with any deal that we want at that point. A third said, should have walked away weeks ago, but today is as good as any. Another said, both sides have identified red lines they will not cross. The talks are over. It's no deal. We'll be trading under WTO rules and taking back control of our fisheries. Yep, a level playing field is where, whereby by businesses agree to certain rules and regulations so that one state does not undercut the other. The issue is one of the biggest areas of diversions between the two sides. I do not want a level playing field in any way, shape or form. I want to compete with the EU. They've taken all of our industry by giving grants and stuff to get them to move to the European mainland. They deserve everything they get in my opinion. But what say you? Commenting on the issue, Miss von der Leyenabach said, it cannot be a downward competition. It will be for you. Just think of labour standards or environmental protection. Our labour standards and environmental protection are both better than the EU. Just saying, this is an, um, a massive lie that the left try and pull every single time. Our All of our rights are better than the EU's. Where do you think they got most of the models from? It should be shared interest for the European Union and the UK to never slide backwards and always advance together towards higher standards. Well, maybe you should catch up to us then, EU. The EU also wants to include a punishment mechanism within the agreement. Punishment? How dare you? I'll tell you what, try and get big, Billy Big Balls and see what happens after we've left, you muppets. How d this, this is the problem with the EU. They're power hungry and they are bullies. This is what their main problem is. They are absolute bullies. They think they can threaten countries into submission. Well, guess what? This country's not for turning, EU. <laughs> If this were included, any violation of the agreement would allow either side to retaliate by suspending a part of the relationship, which is why we shouldn't have any relationship. The EU Commission President added, it is central for our business and our private citizens, both in the UK and the European Union. No, you mean it's central for your bank balance, isn't it? And for your continued existence. <laughs> it is crucial to ensure that what has been agreed is actually done. Number 10 has rejected this and insists, instead wants a series of separate 
sectorial agreements. Now, what's my opinion on this? I think they're just continuing to try the bully tactics. I actually do believe the 94% are, are actually correct. We should leave right this minute. No more waiting, no more anything. Just phone them up now and just say, all right, von der Leyen, you want to continue with your threats? piss off you're getting nothing and you won't get anything after either don't even bother coming crawling to us for any money in the future you absolute bully <laughs> Oh, I'm hoping that this gives Boris a bit of a kick up the backside because I was honest earlier on when I called them uh, not so extreme hard left Tories because that's exactly what they seem to be. It seems to be everything I would have classed as conservative, the Tories no longer are, which is why I call them Tories and not conservatives anymore. But let me know what you think, everyone. I'd like to know your opinion. I know everyone wants to leave still, so I don't want to know that. But I want to know, do you think Boris will take this as a hint to leave now? Do you think he actually actually will is what I want to know. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe. Share it out, everyone. It helps me avoid, evade YouTube's absolutely disgraceful algorithm. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.